Hi everybody, this is Alchemist 2 and I'm back again with another movie review. As you can see, I'm working with uh, Techna 2, my backup compi. My original computer, Techna. <sighs> Sadly. Has a virus. I know, we are probably thinking, dang Alchemist 2, you get a lot of virum. <laughs> eh, it's really not my fault. It just happened. <laughs> Yeah, c'est la vie. But anyway, I have a friend who's going to be fixing Techna. So I will be able to chat with all of you who know me and those of you who thankfully make my life brighter than what it is. Because uh, without you in my life, I think my life would be terribly, terribly dull and have no substance whatsoever. But I digress. Moving on to The American. Now coming into this film, I was expecting an action-adventure movie. Uh, this was more of a suspense film, but it didn't really explain a whole lot of anything. And to be honest with you, I was quite disappointed with it, and I feel like uh, George Clooney is losing his edge in acting. And it just really was dissatisfying. And there were a lot of moments in the film that were far too long and I almost looked at my watch because I was becoming bored and I was thinking well what's going to happen isn't something supposed to happen now is uh, Jack the character he plays is Jack going to get shot at or <laughs> um, it, it leads you to make your own conclusions as to why he is where he where he is and uh, why he does what he does uh, it it ends similarly to Bangkok dangerous dangerous which to be honest with you I think Bangkok dangerous is a far better film and I know a lot of people didn't really care for that film either but Bangkok dangerous is by far the better movie compared to this one this one was just kind of long and drawn out and some of the scenic shots could have been condensed considerably and they could have gone to the next sequence where he was talking to one of the characters and you had some sort of revelation. Well, it wasn't really that much of a revelation at the time. But this, this is a different kind of film and I didn't like it. I didn't dislike it. I just I'm in the middle about it. I'm divided. Uh, it's sort of an ambivalence, <laughs> I guess you could say. But um, according to movies, I've I think I've seen better than this. And to be honest with you, I just uh, it just left me high and dry, and I I didn't really garner that much from it other than uh, one of the morals that you can take away from The American which is based on a book called A uh, Very Serious Gentleman is that greed is never a good thing and it can lead people to do things that they normally would never engage in um, Violence never solves anything and only begets more violence. Um, and even love is not the constant that you would think it think it is. Everything fades. Um, everybody has sins. Uh, I really don't know what else I can make of this particular film, for lack of a better term. Uh, just wasn't very satisfied with it. If you're going to see a movie this weekend, I would recommend seeing something else. Don't see The American. It's just, it's not, it's not worth your time. And I'm not sure why the people in the newspaper gave this three stars. Three stars? Are you guys on acid? Excuse me? No. This film does not deserve three stars. It is not even... <sighs> No, it just does not, <laughs> no, it doesn't wager three stars. I would give it two. 
and even I think that is being generous on my part and I know a lot of people are going to come after me and say well George Clooney is super smoking hot well yeah he is granted but beyond that I I just didn't this film just was extremely unsatisfactory well, the um, the cinematography with photography was absolutely beautiful, and the and the background music, the soundtrack, outstanding. I would definitely use those in, in other films and not have any problem. And if if I had been directing, I would have treated this whole thing a lot more differently. I would have given people a little bit more explanation as to what was going on, as to what was happening. Um. Other than that. I can't say too terribly much about this particular film. Uh, hmm. <laughs> Yikes. But, um, there was a lot of symbolicism in the movie as well, which I, I noticed right away. Um, I'm not going to tell you what those particular moments were because that would probably give away a lot of the plot <laughs> or there really was no particular plot mentioned or used it was just everything is shrouded in mystery everything is a, a puzzle that the the viewer has to figure out and you're led to make your own uh, deductions and assumptions and uh, don't don't see the American. It's just not worth your time. I know it looks like it's really intriguing and exciting from the from the film trailer itself, but the film trailer is horribly horribly inaccurate. So that's basically my assessment of the movie. Didn't like it. Didn't dislike it. Just eh, is in the middle and. Eh. Bangkok Dangerous is far superior to this, so just don't bother seeing the American. Thumbs down.